Hello students, welcome back to Dr. Jagis Academy. In this lecture, I am going to teach about another important naming reaction of aldehyde which is known as Kelly-Zaro reaction. So in this lecture, we will study what is Kelly-Zaro reaction and how does it actually take place. Means what its mechanism. So let's start. The Kelly-Zaro reaction is shown by those aldehyde which don't contain alpha hydrogen. Second one, it take place only in the presence of concentrated base, strong base that is sodium hydroxide. And third one is, it is an example of disproportionation reaction. So we have a few examples of aldehyde which don't have alpha hydrogen. Number one, formaldehyde. Second one is benzaldehyde. Third one is 2,2-dimethylpropanol and fourth one is glyoxal. These aldehydes, they don't have a alpha hydrogen and these aldehydes show Kenizaro reaction. So as I told earlier that Kenizaro reaction is an example of disproportionation reaction. So what is disproportionation reaction? Disproportionation reaction is self-redox reaction means self-oxidation and reduction reaction. So what do you mean by self-oxidation and reduction reaction? Self-oxidation reduction reaction means in which a single substance undergoes oxidation as well as reduction. So in this reaction, uh, aldehyde, we use aldehyde as a main reactant which contains that is carbonyl CHO group. So as we know that the Kenizaro reaction is example of disproportionation reaction. So aldehyde molecule undergoes oxidation as well as reduction. So in oxidation, there is an addition of oxygen. So due to addition of oxygen to the CHO group, then aldehyde group is converted to carboxylic group means aldehyde is converted into a carboxylic acid. In reduction, there is an addition of hydrogen. So due to addition of hydrogen, that is aldehyde group is converted to alcohol. It means carboxylic acid is the oxidized product of aldehyde, whereas alcohol is a reduced product of aldehyde. So, as we know that Kenizaro reaction take place in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. So due to presence of sodium hydroxide, carboxylic acid which is produced one of the product in this reaction is converted into a sodium carboxylate means sodium salt of carboxylic acid with the loss of water. So in this case, in Kenizaro reaction, we get a two product. Number one is alcohol and second one is sodium salt of carboxylic acid. So what is Kenizaro reaction? Kenizaro reaction is a condensation of two same aldehyde. Which aldehyde? Which don't have an alpha hydrogen atom. They combine in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. So in this case, we have a two aldehyde molecule. So we have a first aldehyde that combines with a second aldehyde molecule. These two aldehyde, they are of a same type. These two aldehyde, they are combined and undergo self-condensation in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. The first aldehyde is converted to alcohol due to reduction and second aldehyde they are converted into a sodium salt of carboxylic acid due to oxidation. So this is a Kenizaro reaction. Next one is I am taking the example of uh, formaldehyde. So we have a two molecule of formaldehyde that undergoes self concentration in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. So in this case we get a two product. Number one is that is a sodium formate and second one is the methyl alcohol. Sodium formate is the oxidized product of one aldehyde molecule and methyl alcohol is a reduced product of the second aldehyde molecule. 
So another example is benzaldehyde. So we have a two molecule of benzaldehyde that undergoes sun condensation in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. Again, we get our two products. Number one is that is sodium salt of benzoic acid and second one is that is a benzyl alcohol. So sodium benzo benzoate is a oxidized product whereas benzyl alcohol is a reduced product of aldehyde. So next is the mechanism of L mechanism of reaction. How does it actually take place? Actually it takes place in a three steps. In a first step there is an addition of base that is the OH negative to the carbonyl group of the first aldehyde molecule to form anion. So we have a base that is OH negative that combines with the first molecule of aldehyde that is a formaldehyde. So in this case that is the OH negative base act as a nucleophile. So as we know that nucleophile is negatively charged molecule, so it has tendency to attract with the positive charge center or electron deficient center. So in aldehyde, the carbon acts as an electron deficient center because in a carbonyl, oxygen is more electron negative than carbon. So it has tendency to withdraw the electron, this pi electron toward itself, resulting Carbon acquires positive charge and oxygen acquires negative charge. So the nucleophile which is negatively charged, they are attacks on this positively charged carbon atom to form a carbon OH single bond. So due to this migration, it forms the another product anion. So in this case, there is a formation of carbon oxygen OH carbon sigma bond and there is a formation of negative charge on this oxygen atom. So this product is anion. So this is our first step of the mechanism of chemical reaction. The second step is anion which is formed in a first step act as a hydride donor. And this anion transfer the hydride ion to the carbonyl group of second aldehyde molecule to form the another anion. So how does it actually take place? So we have an anion which is formed in a first step that combined with the second aldehyde molecule. So after the combination there is a hydride transfer from anion to aldehyde. Basically due to the presence of negative charge on this oxygen atom, they help to donate the hydride from this anion. So how does? So this negative charge, they are a migrate between carbon and oxygen. So in this case, due to migration, there is a formation of double bond. So after the formation of double bond, carbon form five bond. It means it has more than octet. So to satisfy is octet or 8 electron, it has tendency to donate the hydride ion from this molecule. So hydride ion that is a nucleophile, again it has tendency to attract with the positive charge center. So as we know in aldehyde molecule, carbon acts as a positive charge center because the oxygen has a tendency to withdraw the electron toward itself. Resulting oxygen acquired negative charge and carbon acquired positive charge. And this hydride ion, they are attacks on this positive charge center to form the carbon hydrogen sigma bond. So during this migration, there is a formation of two products. Number one is that is a methoxide ion and second one is that is a formic acid. So this reaction is very slow step. So it is a ray determined step in this mechanism. So we have two product number one is methoxide and second one is formic acid. So this is a second step of this mechanism of Kenizawa reaction. In the third step, the product obtained in a second step undergo further proton exchange to form the final product. So we have a two product. Number one is methoxide and second is formic acid. There is the exchange of proton from acid to methoxide ion to form 
two product again methyl alcohol and second one is that is a formate ion or acid so after the exchanging of proton there is a proton exchange from acid to this one so there is a formation of oxygen hydrogen sigma bond so to get methyl alcohol so this is a mechanism of kanizawa reaction so upcoming video i will discuss that another important reaction is cross kanizawa reaction thank you